Dear veterinarians, students, and farmers, Assalamu alaikum and good evening. Welcome everyone to today's discussion on welfare evolution in buffalo species by risk assessment methods, a part of classifying system organized by Other Health Bangladesh. A welfare assessment involves exam to ensure good health and well-being as well as monitoring for any signs of pain, distress, or suffering. I'm Dr. Sabrina Firdos will be with you to facilitate the discussion today. Our today's speaker is Dr. Domenico Pecchio from Italy. He's a veterinarian with PhD in animal breeding, currently working at IZSM, Italian National Reference Center, on water buffalo farming and production hygiene and technology unit. He has a specialization on animal nutrition and reproduction and working experience in Italy and Brazil. In 2014, he was appointed as associate professor in animal science and surgical, clinical, and veterinary reproduction. Dr. Domenico is also a member of our ongoing Swedish-funded project, Climate Change Mitigation by a Sustainable Water Buffalo Dairy Chain in Bangladesh. He is interested in several aspects of breeding techniques and reproductive biotechnology of the buffalo and other bovine species. In addition, in World Health Perspective, his main interest of the research is on adaptability of farm animals to the environmental stressor and the consequences on human and the environmental health. He is currently working on following research area, identification of predictive metabolic biomarkers in transition period of disease state in dams and in offspring, biomarkers of acute stress responses in animal breeding, interaction between biosecurity levels and animal welfare, effects of breeding environment on technopathy, Maybe the poor network there. Yes, I think so. Okay, I think I uh, it is okay. So I can uh, read the rest of this. So in this today's session, we have uh, several distinguished colleagues and as a panelist, and they will contribute in our discussion. So as usual, we have our colleagues, uh, Professor Abdul Samad. So Samad sir uh, was a former director of and uh, dean of Maharashtra Animal and Fishery Sciences University. And he also a dairy consultant in India. And Professor Dr. Bhuminath Devkota. He's a professor of agriculture and forestry university in Nepal and president of Asian Buffalo Association. I think he's still not here, but we hope to see, we hope to see him. And we have our friends and colleague, Dr. Rashidul Alam from Sidang Veterinary Animal Sciences University. We have also another colleague from Pakistan. He is uh, Dr. Azali Khan from University of Agriculture Peshawar. He should be here. And Dr. Uh, Hiranma Vishas, Deputy Director, Department of Livestock Services, Bangladesh. I would also like to request our colleagues during the discussion to limit their uh, discussion short only to three to four minutes. Additionally, also they can ask questions if they want to, then it will be easier for us. And so, Domenico, now the time is yours, so you can continue your discussion. Thank you very much. I try to share. You can see the presentation? Yes, we can see. We can see it. 
Yes. So uh, thank you very much to stay here today. And uh, thank you, Professor Mizan and uh, uh, the, the, the organizing committee for the possibility to talk about our work on Buffalo welfare. Uh, today, we, we talk about an uh, integrated system called the classifier, and in particular about an aspect of this system, the evaluation of uh, animal welfare in Buffalo Farm uh, by risk assessment methodology. Well, the, the challenges of the health sector and the agri-food industry have been made uh, more complex in the, in the last years. Some aspects as animal welfare, the consumption of uh, drugs, uh, biosafety, as well as the health risk associated with them are becoming increasingly interconnected, thus necessitating an integrated approach. In this framework, the Italian Ministry of Health has worked to a series of innovations to permanently change the aspect of animal wealth, animal health in our country. Therefore, the challenge of the future is to start a process of implementation and the development of this innovation. Our work uh, is try to conjugate these forces that just apparently are in contrast. The goal is obtain the economical sustainability of the farm by the production of food safety in respect of the environment and animal welfare. Uh, this is possible if we valorize the level of animal welfare and sustainability as intrinsically a uh, value of the product. So, um, The proceed, uh, with, uh, to proceed with the categorization of the risk uh, um, of breeding, the Italian Ministry of Health strongly wanted to equip itself with an effective system. Classifirm is an integrated system aiming at the categorization of the farms according to risk assessment methodology. In this, uh, um, it is an innovation that allows to facilitate and improve the collaboration between the breeders and the competent authority to rise the level of safety and the quality of food of animal region. The new platform shall draw up the data collected by the competent authority during the performances of uh, the official control, those made available by the system already in use, and those uh, of the self-control made available by the breeder voluntary and uh, inserted by the corporate veterinarian. In this context, the veterinarian represents the connection between the farmer and the competent authority and support and assist the farmer in the strategic choice of management to improve the health and welfare condition, also based on the level of risk detected by classifier. So Classifarm permits to collect the collection uh, and processing of data relating to the following evaluation area, animal welfare, biosafety, antimicrobial usage, and injuries detected at the slaughterhouse. This point uh, is now uh, performed just on uh, uh, swine farm, uh, but the implementation in ruminant farm is uh, uh, is very, very um, near. Through scientifically validated coefficients, uh, all the data are converted in the um, numerical indicator that measure the current level of risk of the herd. Today, our rule is try to uh, harmonize this element animal welfare to have a more effective physiological response to the pathologies by the maintenance of the immune system of the animal, biosafety to reducing the risk of uh, spreading pathologies, and uh, as consequence of these two objectives, the reduction of the use of a drug, principally the antimicrobial 
so that we can reduce the antimicrobial resistance and the residual in food. Um, the project starts from the exigence of the Ministry of Health to develop uh, and manage a system to evaluate the welfare of different species based on risk assessment method in accord with the national and European law. In the project named uh, uh, Ruminant Welfare, starting in uh, uh, 2040, 2015, um, the National Reference Center for Welfare uh, Evaluation, CREMBA, as the leading unit and listed the support of various operating units, particularly with our center to develop a scheme for assessing welfare and biosecurity of Buffalo Park. Excuse me, Domenico. Yes. Actually, we are seeing your fast slide only here. Only the, we are seeing your fast slide only. Okay, okay. Do you please, uh, do you please check it? Okay, maybe, no problem. Maybe you are, you are just uh, discussing, but we are seeing the only fast slide here. Okay. So, uh, why talk about Buffalo? Um, the Buffalo represents today a very interesting species in constant growth and a very potential resource to optimize the production of food of animal origin in a tropical and subtropical region, as demonstrated by this data. So we have an increase starting in 1998 in the number, total number of buffalo in the world for arriving in 2018. So, and uh, another aspect, interesting aspect, as if we consider the world milk production, uh, the milk wool fresh for buffalo and uh, for cow, we can see that the production increased between uh, 2011 to 2018 of 32.6% and 10.7% respectively, compared with coal. Uh, just a moment. This is an, a scheme of Italy condition. In our country, there are about uh, 409,000 heads of this 74 breeding company region. Uh, there are 2,212 farms. 86% of these are dairy farms. And another important aspect there is the size of the farm. Only 8% of has more than 500 heads. And while 51% uh, from uh, uh, breed from 100 to 500 heads. So the dimension is not very uh, higher for the farm. Finally, Excuse the longevity me. of the species about- Excuse uh, me, Domenico. Yeah? Uh, actually, uh, would you please uh, present your presentation in presentation mode and, and we are actually see your introductory slide only. Maybe you are oh, the sorry, time. sorry, sorry, you sorry. Should, you should move the left uh, slide. Okay, okay, okay. Now you see my slide? Uh, actual slide? Uh, actually, not yet. Okay. Would you please so try again? Just a moment. I share. Now? Uh, it's coming, yes, yes, it's perfect. And and please uh, go, go to the presentation mode. The presentation mode. Would you please share this in presentation yeah. mode? Yeah. I try to put in a, a, the second slide. Can you? Is active? Uh, it's not yet. Uh, would you please try again? Oh, uh, try. To uh, try to 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 show the presentation is for, I think that is. You see the 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 changing in slide. 
uh, yeah, it's, it's moving now, but uh, um, uh, I try uh, to, yeah, yeah, yeah it, will be, it will be great if you uh, share this by the presentation mode. I try to share the it. monitor and not the, 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 the panel, okay. Just a moment, sorry. Okay. I think that now you can see the presentation in the presentation mode. Um, not yet, actually. And now? Okay. Yes, it's perfect now. Okay. Yeah, so, great. Uh, sorry for the for the problem in the in the condition of the presentation. So, uh, in uh, to date, only Italy has established an official system for the traceability of milk production. And the Inter Buffalo Supply Chain Science uh, 2014, which provide a real time information on milk production. The establishment of this system was favored by the economic value that the supply chain represents for the country. In fact, Italy, which uh, rank uh, 50 globally in the term of milk production, produced 97% of the buffalo milk producing in Europe. Only the buffalo mozzarella cheese, that is the protected under the European protected design of origin, PGO scheme, is estimated at uh, a sale value of uh, uh, 766 million of euro per year. So uh, if uh, for those interested in learning more about this aspect of the traceability system, uh, I'll leave you the link to the to the to the paper and uh, going to the the core of the the, the presentation uh, so after this image of the breeding system in buffalo we ask uh, what is the animal welfare many definitions are proposed to define uh, the concept of welfare that must include the emotive aspect and not only the healthy aspect of the animal I think that this definition is the most accurate and synthetic. Welfare is expressed by the adaptation capability of the animal to the environment in which it lives. This affirmation is very important because including welfare definition two elements, animal and environment, and express the level of uh, welfare by the type of relationship between them. So we want to evaluate the welfare we must consider the, this concept, animal, environment, and interaction, positive or negative within them. Not all are, animals are adapted for all environments, and not all environments are adapted for all animals. Rapidly. In this image, we can see the theoretical reconstruction of curve among animal benefit and the human benefit. If we start by the natural level of welfare with uh, the intensive uh, or semi-intensive breeding system, we can increase the, the level of, uh, um, of animal welfare 
um, and uh, the live store productivity. For example, to uh, applying the correct and constant nutrition or to protect the protection from predators or parasites. So the problem is not the intensification, but the level of intensification. When the intensification is balanced with animal exigence, structure and management quality, we obtain an optimization of the resource and income. Otherwise, when the intensification, like in this case, um, or the farm is exasperated, we obtain an unacceptable welfare level and a presence of a problem in the farm that require a cost to be resolved and in more times an increase of impact in the environment. How to measure the animal welfare level? As indicated by the European Food Safety Authority, the methodology to be used is the risk assessment, developing the tools that are objective, conform to what is provided by current legislation, used by properly trained veterinarians, uh, with application time compatible with the business need, and uh, that return a miserable quantitative value of the total welfare level and the level for each breeding area, useful for the technician and breeder to identify the critical point and to solve them. Okay. The identification of a target population and uh, its exposure scenario is a prerequisite for identifying hazard in macro areas. By identifying these phases of the breeding system, we have the ability to identify animal, environment, and interaction between them. After the identification of the target population, the process, uh, as previously described, include two group of elements. On the one hand, the input is represented by the environment, where we identify the hazard that can affect the animal welfare in positive or negative effects. The risk represents uh, the measures not based on animals. We can observe this element without the observation of any. On the other hand, the output is represented by the effect expressed, expressed by the animal in response to the environment. The effect is measured by the animal-based measures and IBM are divided in two groups, direct or indirect IBM. Uh, direct ABM uh, that we observe on the animal, like uh, a lesion or uh, a body condition score. Indirect ABM is uh, that we observe on the book of the farm, of the register, like annual incidence of adult or calf mortality, for example. We have identified three micro areas in the first two macro areas are collected the hazard, the input, and their threshold level. And then we have identified the animal-based measures represented by 14 items with the threshold level. So when we uh, approach for each item, we have identified the threshold level in which the occurrence of hazard may be cause three conditions. No stress, normal level, intermediate uh, condition. Uh, Ail stress, improvement of welfare condition. And distress, worsening of welfare condition. This level are individually by the bibliography and by the expert opinion activity. To perform the risk assessment, have a need to define other aspects for each level of each hazard, the way of the of the, the hazard. So these are a, a more complicated aspects of the, the system. An expert opinion elicitation based on a modified healthy technique was organized to collect the opinion of 14 Italian veterinarians that uh, the 14 experts judged a set of ABM 
rating the uh, appropriateness and the level of animal pain and suffering due to the welfare consequence they measure it. Experts were asked to score 52 hazards, 45 welfare promoters, and 14 IBM. Each expert has uh, expressed the answer for magnitude or seriousness for duration. Probability expresses as the percentage of the animal that could have an adverse effect and the certainty of the expert. And all these information were collected and analyzed in a matrix uh, to obtain an ass the assessment. Management and housing hazard uh, that were determined uh, to be associated with uh, a very high negative impact on the welfare of buffalo were lack of water availability, uncorrected animal grouping strategy, dirty and unmanaged lying area, incorrect milk routine, poor maintenance of the milking system, lack of litter for cows, insufficient shaded line area and uh, or lack of any cooling system and the presence of uh, inadequate or uh, slippery floor in walking areas. Uh, the welfare promoters dealing with optimal buffalo comfort around the uh, rest time obtained the highest rating, in particular housing free for all animals and possibility for adult uh, buffaloes to assess a uh, loafing area of uh, let us seven meters square and or to a pasture for at the last 60 days a uh, year, cleanliness of the calf boxes, a hospital pen of the last eight meter square meter uh, for poultry and animals. In addition, I score were given to appropriate grouping uh, adequate temperature, humidity, and ventilation, presence of an experienced and trained stock person. And finally, the, uh, the, the, the management, uh, sorry. Okay. The, the IBM, the highest, highest ranking were given to mortality of calves and adult buffalo, Percentage of animal showing a vaginal or uterine prolapse, body condition score, and the percentage of deforming clubs in adult buffaloes. Our results represent the starting point for the development of the first protocol for assessment of the welfare of buffalo farm in a loose housing system. Well, during the development of the checklist, we have done these steps, okay? on the scoring algorithm to find the weight of the risk assessment and the adverse effect is 50 50. so uh, all these information were used to formulate an algorithm that can be used to produce a numeric objective value all this process it was necessary to devise the checklist but what's happened when uh, the evaluator carry out the assessment? First of all, the evaluator before to can use the checklist must be trained by a specific course. He perform a collection of data, filling the check and insert this check on the site or tablet with a personal access. These data are automatically elaborated using algorithm and process uh, uh, on the server of Kremba. And after this elaboration, a report is output. So the evaluator not issues an opinion or a personal value, but the system issues an objective and measurable value of welfare for the complex of the farm and for each area. This is an aspect of the report. Uh, furthermore, the report show the critical point that are eventually present uh, for each item of the macro area. With this system, the technician and the breeder can locate the critical point and try to realize the improvement. We, as a 
previously by the project, we have performed a um, coin kappa test to evaluate the concordance value and a pilot evaluation to observe the functionality of the tool. We have evaluated for, uh, 53 uh, farm. The checklist was completed in average uh, two hours, more or less, and uh, the three hours, sorry. Uh, the herd evaluated consisted of an average of 500 animals, more or less. In this graph, we see the result obtained in different class of farm for the uh, total wealth level, uh, management, structure and equipment, and um, animal-based measures. Um, we divided the, the, the evaluation between the, uh, the sides of the farm. Farm with uh, less than uh, 100 heads in red. Farm with a dimension between 100 and 500 heads and farm with more than 500 heads in blue. The results are encouraging, but we must uh, remember that this farm has spontaneously joined and uh, the total number is very low, uh, represent more or less 2.5% of the total population uh, of uh, farm, uh, buffalo farm in Italy. But uh, it's interesting to uh, observe the functionality of the tool. So we repeat this uh, experiment uh, on uh, uh, a very higher number of farms. Uh, we apply the tool on a larger number of company within a larger project. In the graph, you can see the result obtained on the 341 companies uh, out of about uh, an, uh, 100, 119,000 heads that represent about uh, 30% of the Italian buffalo population. The result are relative to a single province since it was used as a tool in a specific project. Despite the high number of assessment made to obtain a national estimate, we believe that uh, it's necessary to extend the evaluation also to other provinces. The difference in the result of the pilot evaluation in orange and uh, the second evaluation of the, 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 the second project uh, can be observed on a high list the possibility to improvement as well as the value recorded for housing factor, okay? By the system, all data recovered and the evaluation is available for the Ministry of Health and for the official veterinary that can use this check. The future perspective is represented by the certification of the system by external certifying organization and the use of a welfare mark that the farm evaluated with a higher level may be used in their labeling. So Classy Farm is uh, an opportunity for breeders who join it. Uh, even the smallest company will thus have the opportunity to have a, a vision of their status. And uh, the checklist uh, constitutes an important, impartial, reproducible, functional instrument uh, tools based on risk analysis. Uh, it uh, enables a numerical animal welfare index to be assigned to each farm and through the data collected in each area to provide the veterinarians and breeders with tools for improving farm management and structures while res re respecting the farm sustainability. The use of this tool will wield a uniform assessment of the level of welfare of Buffalo Farm and is uh, preparatory to the development of a trademark for animal welfare. Uh, the development of uh, and implementation of the method and tool to support sustainable, sustainability livestock may represent a know-how exportable also in very different system. Uh, the method is unique, what change conforming different condition are the hazard and ABM. For example, use uh, uh, of the pasture, etc. So, the system is dynamic system and it is possible insert uh, modification to obtain 
an increase uh, and the functionality conforming the statistical analysis of the result. Collaboration is the way. And so I want to thank you for the attention with this verse. Uh, Walker does not have a path, the way is made by walking. And we are here to work with uh, all the people who want to do it constructively. Thank you uh, so much. Our center is open for collaboration, like with Professor Mizan and the group of Bangladesh. And uh, our center is uh, your home too. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Domenico. <clears throat> So, yes, <coughs> thank you. So, if you have other people, uh, we can see, we can start. Yeah. Mm, yes. Uh, there is Hiranmay Vishas, Dr. Hiranmay. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We cannot see you. I yes, yes, I'm here. Okay, you have any questions or something so you can ask. <laughs> yes, yes. Sorry? You, do you, if you have any questions or any comments on the presentation, so you can start now. Okay, uh, I, 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 uh, so I, later. I, I, I... Oh, you, want to, you want to start to, uh, later, okay, it is okay. So now I can proceed to Dr. Rashid. You can start now. I think it. It is, uh, yes, I can say it is not a usual thing for the veterinarian, the welfare issue, it is a new issue, especially in our uh, subcontinent, but it's very, very important as it, is, as it is very much linked with the production. So, Professor yeah. Rashid. Yes, yeah, thanks, Professor Mizan, actually, and a very nice presentation that I have heard from uh, Dr. Domenico. It's a very interesting one, and actually, it's a very new concept that I have learned is uh, uh, the welfare evalu uh, evaluation of the buffalo is a, uh, a classiform system. This is a new concept uh, uh, that I have uh, learned. So this is a very dynamic system he already uh, mentioned. So actually in our country, uh, we, we don't have any uh, uh, baseline data on uh, the farming system. So uh, we have uh, just um, the uh, some uh, research that we have did before especially on animal transport and the slaughter these uh, two areas we have done some research so later i'll uh, explain uh, a bit about this so uh, as you mentioned in your slide there are uh, four areas that you covered for the classifying system one is the animal welfare and second one is is the uh, i mean um, that is uh, you said the biosecurity uh, and third one is uh, perhaps the antimicrobial uses and fourth was in was is uh, injuries detected the slaughterhouses okay so uh, how uh, you uh, the, the the data collections and processings uh, about the is the injuries detected at the slaughterhouses do you have any uh, how you do this in the slaughterhouses this uh, by approaching this classifying systems well, uh, the data that are collected in the farm by the a veterinarian, uh, a freelance veterinarian, but is uh, used in, the, um, in addition that uh, a data collected by the official system of uh, the official veterinary system. So sanitary aspect, uh, consumption of uh, drug, that we have uh, um, electronic uh, uh, prescription of farm of uh, drug now in the in the buffalo farm. So we have an automatic register that is more simple and it's very easy for us to collect this data and have, a, have an, um, a historical aspect. And um, uh, the biosecurity, the biosafety in the farm is evaluated uh, in, on the um, a dynamic approach uh, based on the presence of a pathogen in the farm, uh, the presence of the uh, possible uh, antimicrobial resistance of this pathogen, 
and uh, an official evaluation of the, um, the, 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 the pathogen like Brucella or tuberculosis. And uh, another aspect is connected to the slaughterhouse uh, aspect, but this aspect is uh, uh, now is um, uh, is going just for the swine farm. For the buffalo, is in the study. I think that in the last uh, two year we we arrive to perform this type of evaluation. A point important is the transport, as you talk. And uh, in this aspect, we have a, a very restrictive uh, um, condition to transport for the, uh, the kilometers that the animal can perform for the farm to the slaughterhouse or for other farm. So uh, these are very uh, complex aspect that have a, a specific legislation for the, for the moment. So, in this aspect, Classic Pharma evaluated the welfare in the farm, but have other system to evaluate the welfare during the transport and welfare during the, the, the slaughterhouse activity. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, another area is, you know, the, the slaughterhouses, especially the attitude and behaviors of the staff, uh, slaughter staff, whether the, at the transport systems. So that is uh, the human animal relationships. That is the HR. Yes. Is, you know, the, in our country, uh, I have some experience. Uh, previously, I did uh, work the trans uh, at the livestock markets. Uh, by nature, we know that uh, uh, buffalo is uh, sluggish in nature during walking. Uh, they don't uh, walk so fast or um, like a scattered. So the transport staffs actually they uh, when they uh, walk their normal pace, but uh, they they are actually the impatient with, with them. This one issue. And another one is uh, uh, there is another thing is the color of the skin. So the buffalo yeah. color, you know, there is a black color. So uh, uh, the transport staff they have less care and less respect uh, with them. This is the some their attitude. Uh, we found in the livestock markets in Bangladesh uh, previously. So in your uh, country system, what about the uh, relationship that is HR, human, animal, uh, especially the stock handler attitude in farming systems? Could you please yes. tell about this? Yes, uh, thank you for the question. Uh, well, uh, the Italian uh, farm uh, is a very intensive farm. So the buffalo have uh, a strict relationship between human uh, starting his cow. And uh, uh, the weaning system uh, is performed uh, with the uh, replaced milk. So the, um, the relationship between uh, the, the calves and human start very, very, very um, uh, in, the, in the start of the life of the animal. So in our system, the evaluation uh, of interaction between, between human an animal is evaluated in the uh, uh, animal-based measure. is represented by an ABM uh, evaluated for the lactation animal, dry animal, aphers, and calves, and uh, is uh, uh, picked up by the uh, welfare quality system. So we have a representative number of animal of the farm that are evaluated for this aspect normally is uh, performed by um, the, 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 the test of uh, uh, fullness of the, the, the animal. Another aspect uh, is connected with the temperature and thermal regulation, as you told, uh, the, the, the number of uh, the color of the animal, the possibility to assess a shadow or a water, to perform a, a good condition of thermoregulated is evaluated in the structure. So uh, if the animal are disponibility to assess and shadow and water have an a plus for the evaluation. A uh, normal system is a, a neutral temperature comprehended between 16 and 22 degree more or less and uh, evaluate these aspects uh, with misuration in the, in the farm 
obviously, depending from the latitude of the, the farm. In the south of Italy, we arrive in the summer in 42, 42 degrees. In the north of Italy, we arrive in the winter in the uh, two, three degree in the far. So it's very different approach for the structure and management of the, the animal. But normally only the aspect that are present in bibliography uh, result thermoregulatory interrelationship between human and animal dimension of the um, the, 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 the the box of the animal are connecting and using the in the system so uh, i think that is applicable for all uh, the reality changing the hazard and changing the threshold of evaluation okay thank you Vance. thank you you what Dominico, thank you very much. So, I, can I move to our another colleague? This is uh, from Pakistan, Dr. Razo Ali Khan. Are you there? Yes, we can see you. Please uh, unmute yourself. Yes, you have to unmute yourself. Dr. Rajwal, you have to unmute yourself, please. You are muted. I think there is some problem on the set. No, you can hear me? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. OK. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Mizan. Uh, and thank you so much uh, for adding me in this uh, such a nice and wonderful conversation. Uh, yeah, this is a very uh, interesting and very important topic. And indeed, it's the need of the hour to address the issue of animal welfare. And uh, yes, in the conditions such as in the subcontinental conditions, uh, we have certain issues to face and address, and animal welfare is one of them. Uh, so if I uh, discussed and if I um, address uh, uh, some key points of uh, the animal welfare condition here in Pakistan, uh, we are actually uh, facing the most important uh, problem and issue that is related to animal welfare is the calf uh, uh, animal management or the calf welfare. Uh, because here in Pakistan, uh, we have certain uh, localities. Uh, mostly the buffaloes are, uh, which, uh, which is a very prominent and very important dairy buffalo that is Nili Ravi. That is uh, habitat of, uh, the natural habitat of this uh, uh, buffalo is uh, a Punjab province. Uh, so, uh, what happened? The other province, especially the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, which is the northern part of the Pakistan, uh, they are mostly dependent. Uh, the commercial dairy farms are mostly bring the dairy animals from this province, from the natural habitat, and uh, use it for the dairy, their commercial dairy purpose. So mostly they select the, in, the elite animals from the natural habitat and bring it to other parts of the country. And they bring the animals with the freshly perturated animals. So when they bring these animals to other parts of the country, uh, the most important issue which we have facing nowadays, the farmers don't focus on the uh, uh, calf management. They mostly rely to get the maximum potential from the dairy buffalo and they get rid from the calf which they uh, get with the parturated animals. So what's happened, I think if I, uh, I can say that uh, we are uh, the commercial dairy farmers nowadays are doing the genocide of the elite animals, if I'm saying in a very strictly manner. So what's the solution for this and what's the uh, stakeholders 
are doing now to tackle this issue and nowadays uh, we have a country wide project uh, that is known as to save the calf save the calf project is basically a federal level project and they have uh, specially focused in the khyber pakhtunkhwa province where we give some incentives to the farmers to rear the calf because they uh, usually slaughter the one week calf Uh, so uh, this is a uh, alarming situation that uh, we are facing nowadays that uh, the farmers don't uh, rear and don't want to uh, to to Yes, I think there is a connection problem. He is lost. Okay, no problem. I think we can move to our another panelist. Or oh, he is coming. I think uh, there is something wrong with the internet connection. Are you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Yes. Uh, so nowadays, the government launched a project, uh, and they are sensitizing the farmers to grow the calf. And when the farmers grow the calf, they will facilitate the farmers in certain areas, such as in the treatment, the veterinary coverage. and some subsidized rate uh, if they rear the calf up to 6 months they will give them some uh, cash money to the farmers per calf and they are going to register these commercial dairy farms and in this way i think uh, we can save the farms that is the project name is also uh, save the calf project uh, so that is the initiative which has been taken by this government and this is the issue which we are facing now Uh, regarding the animal welfare that we are uh, most of our commercial dairy farms don't want to rear the uh, the calf which are they which they bring from the natural habitat with the dairy buffaloes and in this way uh, they slaughter the dairy old calf uh, so the government have addressed this issue through launching this project uh, so that is a scenario in pakistan now which uh, we are facing and now which for which we are uh, the government is also uh, sensitized and uh, they are uh, giving the some incentives and uh, some awareness to the farmers to rear the calf uh, so that is the condition okay thank you very much thank you very much sir, dr reza ali khan you are welcome yeah. you are welcome so, sir yeah thank you so sir do you want to add something or you can move to next uh, panelist Uh, yes, please. Uh, you can move to our another respected member. Thank you so much for giving me this talk. Uh, yes, okay, thank, thank you so you. much for giving me this opportunity. Thank you so much. Okay, the Dr. Devokar, the Professor Devokar, are you there, sir? Are you there? Okay, can you hear yes. me? Okay, thank yes. you, sir. Yes. So, do do you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Dr. Mizan. Yeah. And uh, yeah, thank you all. Uh, very warm greetings and uh, very good evening from Nepal. I am Professor Bhumi from Nepal. So, on my personal behalf and on behalf of the Asian Buffalo Association as its president, I would like to thank the organizer, Order Health. Bangladesh, and particularly Dr. Uh, Mizanur Rahman, for this wonderful opportunity. Also, thanks to Dr. Uh, Dominico for a very uh, nice uh, uh, your lecture. Like you have highlighted the buffalo welfare issue in such a way, like uh, I think everyone uh, now realizes the the value of the the welfare issues. So uh, I think. as i am uh, representing asian buffalo association this evening here in this meeting 
uh, let me first highlight the uh, value of the buffalo in Asian subcontinent, uh, as well as uh, let me, I think, briefly introduce what is Asian Buffalo Association. Uh, so, as we know, like, you know, uh, buffalo is an uh, important livestock commodity of many Asian countries in terms of the food, food value as well as the economic contribution uh, um, by buffalo. Uh, I think all of us, we know very well, Asia inhabits about 92% of the total buffalo population in the world that includes the uh, best genetics of the buffalo like uh, uh, Murra and Surti from India uh, and Neli Ravi, as it has been mentioned earlier, from Pakistan and there are so many other uh, good um, uh, blood types of the buffalo in Asia. So overall, like, uh, you know, they contribute a lot in terms of food and economy, as I mentioned. Also uh, in Asia, we have a lot of swamp buffalo, particularly in the eastern part of Asia. There are so many countries like the, the, uh, the agriculture economics uh, highly depend upon buffalo production in those countries as well. So overall, uh, I think um, uh, due to uh, the food value, as we understand the milk value of the buffalo, the meat value of the buffalo, and even, you know, the draft power of the buffalo, uh, like the, the, the animal has become very important to Asian countries. And of course, like this issue of, of uh, buffalo welfare is always a great issue. And as it has been mentioned, you know, like uh, uh, the issue has been realized quite lately, I think, in, in, in this region. Although, like uh, um, previously, you know, uh, there was, uh, I think, so many practices like people, they, they tried their best to make as comfortable as the buffalo production system is. But in fact, because, you know, in Asian subcontinent, buffalo production, uh, particularly, you know, uh, in, in, in the uh, developing countries based on the smallholder production system where the commercialization is still like, you know, uh, 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 far away. So uh, the issue is quite serious uh, in, in, in smallholder system, uh, in terms of management, in terms of nutrition, uh, uh, because, you know, in terms of management, we can see um, buffaloes like, uh, you know, on the, mostly uh, in the, in the, in the uh, pasture based, you know, uh, free, free land, uh, free range based production system. And they have been offered, like, you know, we can see uh, quite a minimum amount of the concentrate, even if they are in production states. And, uh, you know, they are, they are kind of, you know, um, the, the uh, housing and the feeding is, is not up to the standard as compared to uh, other dairy animals. So this has, this, 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 this has given a kind of, you know, um, great um uh, great great concentration to the to the uh, welfare workers uh, i think we, we we should focus on those issues uh, as far as possible i think in nepal and uh, in in many other countries what i have seen in my personal experience as well as you know like based on the several informations we have been receiving uh, uh in our places we we, we 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 have seen the most serious issue of of buffalo is the you know buffalo those go to slaughter for example uh, when you know farmers they they uh, send the buffalo for slaughter um, uh, you know uh, we have seen uh, from the from the point uh, where they collect the buffalo and you know the point like where they put the buffalo into the in, in, into the in, into the vehicle you know in the, in, 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 into trucks the way like you know they they keep the space the way they tie up the you know kind of you know nose ring uh, you know they, they 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 fix the buffalo and they they even fix the tail of the buffalo and there are no you know the the resting places uh, no holding places they travel you know quite you know several hours without feeding without providing drinking water and finally you know when the the animals reach to the destination they are directly you know put into slaughter so this is this is quite a serious issue i think there are so many reports particularly you know the public medias <clears throat> newspapers they have highlighted such issues you know in a, in a broader way i think this is particularly uh, the very a serious a very serious issue for the welfare activist animal welfare activist for the buffalo welfare activist as well as 
for the policy people, for the government people. So I think uh, Dr. Domenico has very rightly pointed out the, the importance of collaboration. I think this is a very, very important area like we should work together. The, the, the Asian uh, scientists, professionals, those who are working on animal production, uh, buffalo production, uh, as well as buffalo welfare issues, and you know the the countries uh, like European American countries where the the uh, situation is relatively better than in the Asian countries. So I think we should make a networking collaboration, and we can work together to minimize the the serious welfare issues of this uh, kind of an innocent animal. Because you know the traditionally many people they believe like buffaloes are hardy animals. So that has put them into in, into severe stress, and many people they believe like they are a very good converter of the of the poor quality raw fish. Even if farmers they feed a very poor quality raw fish to the buffalo, they believe that can produce that that, that can give production. So you know this, this 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 kind of traditional thought has put this poor animal into a lot of stress, a lot of pressure. And of course, you know, the welfare issues uh, rise, rise from there as well. So that's why, you know, this through this platform, uh, uh, by representing uh, Asian continent as a whole, as the president of Asian Buffalo Association, I would like to request the, the professionals, the scientists, uh, and I think the policy people, uh, government people are also present today in this meeting. So please let us take this issue very seriously. And if we can protect the, 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 the important livestock like buffalo uh, in, in, in Asia, and if we can improve the, the production system in terms of welfare issues, I think we can have a better production. Uh, we, 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 we can uh, give uh, more value to this animal. And of course, you know, its, it's, it's economic value will be for the place. So with this, uh, finally, let me again thank the organizer uh, and the presenter today. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. That's all from my side. Please, uh, Professor Nizam, you should mute. Yeah. You're... Yes, Domenico, do you want to add anything after Professor uh, Bhumi? Yes, I think that the, the, the situation that you have presented is more or less the with different of the level obviously but the same approach of the farmer in uh, in the Italy too for example uh, have the idea that the buffalo is a very resistant animal so is a very um defunded a uh, convention but uh, buffalo is not a resistant animal is a resilient animal so they show with very difficult these sufferings and uh, I, I totally in accordance with Professor Gumi, with Rosdo and Hirami that talk, uh, because in the step of the calf, the weaning, we have the, the major problem for the buffalo uh, breeding system. Uh, buffalo, uh, the calf is very immature compared with cow, have a capacity of ingestion of uh, 2. Uh, 1.8 2% of the lie weight, no more than in substance and in, uh, in the ingestion. And so, have a very difficult to um, adapt it at a, a, a different system that no is is represented by the, the dam. Uh, we perform ja this. Uh, um, this condition starting 20 years or so ago and have a, now a, a good system. But one of the most uh, impacting uh, uh, effect on the buffalo farm production is the mortality of cult for pathologies represented principally by enteric pathologies, Salmonella, coli, uh, hemolytic coli, coli uh, or uh, uh, manemia with problem a uh, respiratory problem and uh, a problem due to the manage air, the wrong management of the animal. So the situation is the same in uh, I see I know the condition in Argentina in Brazil more or less 
we have the same typology of the, the process and the same problem with a different level, but the qualitative problem is the same in uh, all the world. So I think that we can uh, uh, done a, a network to, uh, to approach with another form, another type of the, uh, the, 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 the system thinking on the breeding uh, system of, uh, of buffalo that uh, uh, have possibility to uh, increase the income of breeder and increase the respect and the welfare of the animal. Okay, thank you, Domenico. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. So now I move to Professor Abdul Samad, sir. So, sir, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Mizan. Uh, at the outset, I would like to thank uh, uh, the organizers for giving me this opportunity and uh, Dr. Dominico for a very interesting talk. Uh, I come from India. Uh, which, which is the uh, you know major area where you know you will find buffaloes and the best breeds of buffaloes are from India. Uh, probably you know you all may be aware of the buffalo production system, and as our friend from Pakistan had mentioned, uh, similar system uh, also prevail, prevails here. There are certain states you know which are regarded as uh, you know breeder states. So they are the one who breed buffaloes and they have been doing that traditionally. And then there are two kinds of farms. Uh, there is one farm which is clustered around urban areas. And those are the intensive farms which do not have land. So they basically depend on all feed input from outside. So they are the one who would have say you know more than 100 uh, you know, buffaloes and then there are also certain areas where uh, you have an aggregation of number of farms we call it colonies and there you know you have let's say 50,000 60,000 buffaloes <coughs> spread over an area and that was the concept which was developed uh, with the help of New Zealand government and there, uh, you know, these farms were developed and then they were also given certain land for, you know, producing fodder. But, you know, that land for producing fodder was very meager. Now, when we go to small hole system, uh, you have, uh, you know, average two to three buffaloes. And they are all, you know, basically uh, reared on crop residues. Uh, and, you know, very little of, you know, concentrate. Now, this idea of, you know, animal welfare uh, is a regulatory area, you know, specifically. And I think the difference between, uh, you know, cow comfort and animal, or buffalo comfort and animal welfare or buffalo welfare, uh, the demarcation lies between one is enforced by the government through some legal authorities and the other is, uh, you know, some practices, you know, which are adopted by the farmer for, for his own business sake. No, so that so that cow remains in comfort and then it doesn't you know, uh, suffer from problems in animals as well as loss loss in productivity. So in India, what has started now is you know talking about comfort now. I mean you know we are very very far from you know talking welfare. You, know, you must differentiate between the uh, you know the political uh, and social conditions in Europe and in this part of the country. And that, uh, you know, difficulty, you know, with this part of the country is farmers are in a political constituency and they carry a lot of weightage with the political parties. And they don't like any regulatory, any, any regulatory function because once you have a regulatory function, a regulatory authority, which is going to put certain conditions, it means investment, you know, and investment, you know, would lead to their, you know, compromise in the you know profit because already the profitability is so low uh, that you know if you ask them to you know, go for certain uh, you know mechanizations you know climate control and others then it becomes you know very difficult for them to come to a productivity level so therefore i think what we should think about 
is welfare which is attached to the economics of the farmers and if we don't do that then any amount of uh, you know regulation you will put any amount of laws you you know you can pass the farmers are not going to accept and for politicians in this part it is very difficult to implement any law on the farmers because you know farmers ag agitation becomes a you know very politically sensitive for them so what we are trying to do uh, in india is you know <clears throat> so rather than ra rather than talking about the regulatory functions you know what we have started is talking about keep the animals under natural conditions okay so for example the an animals are you know these animals normal social behavior is you know they should be in groups so therefore uh, you know we are trying to convince farmers not to tie the animal you know because that was a very uh, i mean in you know, a conspicuous kind of uh, understanding the farmers had that buffaloes are mischievous and therefore they cannot be kept loose they are to be tied forever so therefore you are having farms i think that that might be true even in bangladesh and other countries where when a buffalo comes and once it is tied to a particular place it remains there till it, it goes out from there to to, to this water out sometimes you know they may they may have you know some you know for watering for giving water etc you know they may give uh, you know they may keep it loose for say 10 15 minutes but otherwise they are always tied so that that you know we are uh, you know trying to convince that you know you let them loose and then farmers are finding uh, uh, you know that you know this particular practice is helping them another another welfare uh, uh, you know component which we have added here is that you know what happened when cows came from denmark and you know europe and other countries the housing system was also brought along with them now the climatic conditions in india or in this part of the country is very different than the climatic conditions you know in europe and therefore that concept of having you know closed brick walls and then you know cement concrete floors okay cement concrete floor is used in you know uh, other countries but they they put straw or you know some kind of you know other bedding material which is not possible in this part of the so, therefore that was you know creating lots of problems and therefore you know what we started asking farmers is to you know go for earth floor which is well laid well labeled and then you know you have a good drainage capacity so with these two three things you know we find that you know a lot of problems which was earlier attached to you know buffalo that they remain dirty and that you know they have you know problems related with mastitis you know recently if you, if i can take five five you know one or two minutes more recently you know i and uh, we conducted a competition where we invited farmers to submit images of loose housing where animals are kept loose it is earthen floor there are no bricks there is a limited shaded area otherwise it's full of you know trees etc and i received from one province around 200 very good you know housing models and then today only you know in the morning we interviewed the farmers to find out you know what were the benefits of you know going 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 for you know such kind of system and the first thing they said was that we found that the animals are very happy i mean that tells me that the welfare of the animal is you know being uh, being maintained here so rather than going for you know artificial houses you know where you have mechanization where you know you try to control the climate you know we keep it in the natural climate under tree and we find that even if you have a shed which is you know worth several million rupees they don't prefer to sit inside the shed they would go and prefer and sit you know under the tree they they like the shade of the tree and that is what very conspicuously farmers said the second thing you know they said was that they have not in, they have not called a vet for treatment since last one year because of the cleanliness you know which is being maintained the dryness which is being maintained the cases of mastitis and metritis have gone down drastically so i think you know the, the these are some of the you know issues which is related with the climate and the animal husbandry practices which we should keep in mind and when we come out with you know regulatory uh, uh, you know some kind of norms and standards these differences should be kept in mind you know we should not see that you know whatever uh, is you know being done uh, you know well we may we may adopt the score that's fine but for coming to that score and for calling you know what is the natural you know housing conditions what is the natural climatic conditions under which 
the animals will be kept you know we ask them to keep water which is accessible 24 hours we ask them to you know, keep feed which is accessible accessible 24 hours and now they are saying that earlier they were working for 12 hours and now they are working only for two hours you know morning and you know two hours in the evening and they are able to maintain 30 40 buffaloes or cows so that that is the kind of you know system which uh, I, th I, th I think you know we should be you know talking about at least in the initial stages and based on that you know i will be very happy to coordinate you know with uh, dr dominico and find out if uh, if we can develop some kind of uh, you know welfare index uh, you know for our, our our climatic conditions for the small hold system where you know some compromises you know can be made you know for mechanization for example valuing is not possible because he doesn't have you know, he doesn't have land and then grazing areas are not there because you know then you know, it has to be an intensive kind of system where you know it's going to be put on uh, uh, you know uh, the crop residues the body condition score under our nutrition and our nutritional condition what could be the body condition score which which we can say that you know the animals animal is you know comfortable animal is healthy that also needs to be looked at so there are several areas uh, where i think you know we need to uh, collaborate and I'm, I'm very happy uh, to, to get connected to Dr. Dominico today. And certainly we would like to, uh, we would like to be, you know, in touch with him because I have access to a very large, you know, population of buffaloes. I have my own data recording system, which is available commercially. So I have, you know, more than 1 million animals which are registered on my platform. And, uh, you know, we have access to you know, those farmers. So we, 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 we can take up you know these issues step by step and and and, and remember in in our part the economics of the farmers if you don't keep into consideration then it's not going to help because you know, he is not going to spend lots of money and 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 not earning any profit so that becomes you know very difficult for him secondly you know we were talking about mortality uh, you know calf mortality and then you know calf going out i i you know last 3 years i have been studying the uh, livestock census report of the uh, you know of, of India, you know all all different provinces, and I was studying the culling pattern and you know all those things, and I am I am finding that the farmers are interested in keeping only animals that are you know there for replacement, and he finds that keeping any excess animal for purpose of slaughter is not you know giving him enough of profit. That might be very true in this part of the you know, world in India because you know sending any animal to slaughter has got lots of transportation issues, slaughterhouses issue. You know there are lots of issues. So at least in India we are finding out that farmers are not interested in keeping excess animals, and farmers are also not interested in keeping you know calves because I I find that you know calf rearing by itself requires different different skills. And those farmers who are, you know, into you know milking animals, they find it very difficult to find time to rear calves, and calves will get neglected, and then you know you would have problem of mortality. So one thing in this part of the world we can we can you know uh, recommend, and you know we are encouraging certain farmers to become only calf rearers, so that they can buy calves, you know, from these farms who are not interested in you know uh, rearing the calves. They buy it so that they can have some kind of mechanization. They have some intensification of keeping, say, 200, 300 buffalo calves, and they would, uh, you know, devote themselves only in calf rearing up to heifer stage. So that kind of, you know, intervention, if we do, you know, a lot of these issues then can be sorted out. I, I again thank Dr. Mizan uh, and Dr. Dominico for giving me this opportunity to address the, you know, gathering. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much for your uh, very, I think, useful uh, comments and talks. Dominic, you want to add something on uh, Professor Abdul Samad, sir, comments, please? Wow. Yes. Uh, thank you, Professor. I am totally in accordance with you. And uh, this system have the possibility to change <clears throat> the hazard. So uh, the possibility to adapt the hazard for each type of situation. So I think that the, the goal is not to translate our system for other countries, but use the scheme to develop for each country the uh, each system of evaluation. 
for us now, one of the biggest problem is the uh, the land. We haven't land. We have the the farm with four meter, four meter for each buffalo. Uh, in the country has your I, I have the pleasure to visit India two times in uh, Madras and uh, in Pune farm I visit uh, Nanai farm uh, in India It's a very very uh, interesting reality for buffalo production and so uh, the effect that you have on an animal based measure is the the core of the project so if you haven't uh, a structure very important structures or but you have a, a good management you have a good animal and a happy animal so i totally in accord with you uh, and uh, our disponibility to collaborate is is open for 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 your for all your uh, ideas so uh, the problem of calf is the same here the, the buffalo, normally uh, the buffalo uh, cow have a six, seven lactation in Italy. So having a substitution of uh, five, six percent of hairs for year, but have a fertility of 70 percent. So the problem of calf is the same in Italy. And I, I can I, I can I can give you some uh, no, recent data uh, because you know we we were always saying that you know buffaloes are a very poor breeder uh, uh, and you know they have silent uh, estrus and uh, they, therefore you know there are problems of uh, you know very long uh, intercalving period and that is the main reason why the you know, why the farmer if it is not pregnant prefers the, you know buffalo to be sold to the slaughterhouse. And, and this simple intervention uh, where, uh, you know, we, we, we ask the farmers to keep them loose, untied, mm -hmm. and on a, on, a, on a good floor, even, you know, in that Pune farm, you know, where, which, you know, you mentioned, it was, you know, my own first experience where I saw buffalo mounting, you know, during the estrus. So the expression of estrus is so, so good. And we find that the problem of intercalving period, calving to conception interval, came down drastically, only with one intervention of you know good housing, and and you know the natural and you know, rearing conditions. So I think for solving many of these problems which we have been uh, you know mentioning, is extremely easy. It requires uh, uh, you know uh, very basic interventions. Another survey, you know, I did uh, in Western Maharashtra, that is, you know, Pune and that area, which is, you know, Kolhapur, you know, which is uh, a very high, you know, buffalo area, and there is also, uh, you know, cow area. So I wanted to compare the nutritional status of, you know, cows and buffalo, I mean, in terms of energy, how much is being given. And I find that the cows are receiving around 60% of the required energy. And the buffaloes were receiving 110% of the required energy. And this was because the buffalo milk was getting higher price and the yeah. cow milk was getting lower price. So all these things are, you know, very intricately, you know, related with the economics of the farmer. So farmer is going to look after animal, respect animal, you know, which is giving him profit. And he's going to neglect an animal which is not going to, you know, keep him profit. So that should be the benchmark. Of, of you know uh, doing any scoring and you know all all other uh, you know whatever uh, norm standards we develop we have to keep in mind that by why by doing that the profitability of the farmer is not compromised and one question i wanted to ask this is the last question i i, I would like to ask dr dominico uh, now let's say you know you have a farm uh, which is on very high on the welfare index uh, would he be mentioning that welfare index on the products and whether the consumers are ready to pay more uh, you know for the product which is having a higher you know welfare index because if that is so then consumer you know the farmers will be more interested in you know adopting the system you know which which you are suggesting thank you you're welcome yes we have this idea but 
we have a difference between the north of Europe and south of Europe in the disponibility of the people to spend more for a product that have a higher level of welfare. If we produce uh, um, an uh, animal friendly product, milk, for example, in north of Europe, 20% of the population have a disponibility to pay between five and 50% more. Okay. In the south of Europe, this percentage uh, arrive more or less in uh, six, 10% of the, the, the consumer. And the potentiality of pay more is 5%. So the question is, the 5% more in the, in, the, in the price of the milk or the mozzarella uh, is sufficient for the breeder to have uh, an, uh, a, a just income for the costs that they have uh, in the increase in development welfare Probably no. So we have two two way. The first, you work on the aspect of welfare that directly increase the income of the farmer. The the space for the animal produce mortality, increase milk production. The uh, nutrition of the animal, body condition score, uh, increase the energy disponibility milk production, concentration of uh, protein and fat in the milk, uh, the mortality of calf, reducing the, uh, the mortality of calf or mortality of adult. This is the element that uh, increases directly the income of the, the breeder. And then when we obtain this result, invest this money to develop other aspects of wealth. The unique pressure that we have in the farm all over the world is economic pressure. So the selection of the farm is an economic selection. For this reason, we think a system that preserves the sust economic sustainability of the farm and increase gradually sustainability and uh, welfare in the farm production system. But it's not simple, it's not easy, but we try. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Uh, Hiran, why you have any? Thank, yeah. thank you, sir. I, uh, I have no question, but total part is uh, a, a great learning for me. And uh, I am Hiran Mavishas, uh, you know, uh, Mm, uh, serving, uh, working for the Department of Livestock Services since uh, 1999. Uh, after recently, I completed my PhD uh, research on toxocariasis in buffalo calves uh, in Bangladesh. And uh, in March 2021, I joined uh, again in the D Department of Livestock Services as a Deputy Director uh, uh, Livestock and Dairy Development Project. And first of all, and I would like to uh, convey thanks uh, to Dr. Uh, Domenico. Uh, for his excellent and nice presentation, uh, which will help uh, us a lot of, uh, regarding the welfare assessment of buffaloes in Bangladesh. Also, and uh, uh, since we are not uh, familiar, I am not familiar with these tools uh, yet. Additionally, I also uh, like to thank Professor Dr. Uh, Samas Sar, uh, Professor Dr. Uh, Bhumi Sar, and uh, Professor Dr. Khan and uh, Rashidul Sar. Uh, for their commendable comments and valuable opinion of today's discussion. Uh, I am very much agree, agree with uh, Professor uh, uh, Dr. Rashidul Alam Sar the, at Bangladesh, the present situation of buffalo uh, farming and rearing system. There is no, uh, actually there is no uh, 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 data and, uh, uh, but uh, according to the uh, uh, DLS report 2022, uh, Bangladesh uh, has nearly 1.5 million buffalo population and uh, the uh, water buffalo population has been increasing in Bangladesh since last 40 years but uh, its growth is not satisfactory in context of the neighboring countries like India, Nepal, Pakistan. Uh, in Bangladesh still uh, there is no model management practices of, of buffaloes 
uh, rearing uh, relation in relating to housing, breeding, uh, deworming, vaccination, uh, animal identification, and uh, record keeping. The major uh, major problems of uh, the related uh, the welfare of buffalo in Bangladesh have been reported to be the uh, feeds and fodder, grazing land, uh, fresh water in coastal region uh, during flood, veterinary medical facilities, and high quality of breed also a uh, uh, for the uh, hindering for the development and production of buffalo and breeding scheme including the government support. Uh, although buffalo is an integral part of livestock production system in South Asian countries, uh, previously they have never been uh, addressed in Bangladesh and always neglected despite their important role uh, in the national economy. Uh, at present, the government of Bangladesh has uh, taken uh, several projects and programs uh, for buffalo development. And I think uh, the government has uh, should, uh, uh, for the welfare, uh, of Buffalo's uh, Department of Livestock Services and Bangladesh Livestock Research Institute, Institute uh, should take the immediately action on uh, the climate, smart livestock, and uh, construction of uh, the coastal embankments uh, for uh, saline uh, against uh, for saline uh, problem, salinity problem, and fresh water uh, consuming uh, through the deep tube well and uh, water reservoir extension ex extensive. Uh, reserve, reserve grazing land uh, for the coastal region uh, through uh, the amendment of the Forest Act 1927 uh, for uh, create the uh, coastal uh, afforestation. Mobile veterinary clinic is uh, very much important and the, the, uh, the rural area, the remote soil and the, the treatment facilities is uh, very poor there. Uh, improving buffalo health and uh, reproductive performance, selection performance may help for climate smart traits uh, through the genetic improvement disease surveillance especially the for hemorrhagic septicemia uh, foot and mouth disease uh, calf pneumonia and etc uh, establishment of advancement uh, advanced uh, diagnostic lab also and uh, the government of bangladesh should have to uh, implement, implement the annual cruelty act uh, 1926 uh, for the well-being and welfare and optimum production of uh, buffalo in bangladesh uh, okay, thank, thank you. you thank you very much it's a uh, it's a great opportunity uh, for me uh, to learning a lot from this session uh, thank you very much thank you professor Mizan sir and his team uh, for uh, doing a, a good job for the welfare of our livestock of bangladesh thank you very much okay thank you thank you dr hiran mai yes Domenico, i had some questions but i think i got uh, already got some uh, answers of the questions uh, through the discussion with Professor Abdul Samad sir. So now I see that actually the the mozzarella in Italy is a very important product from the buffalo milk. So the consumers are very, very concerned about the welfare of the buffalo. Is it like this? Okay. Could you repeat? Uh, yes. Sorry. Can you hear me? Now, yes. Yes. Okay. Because I know the buffalo mozzarella is very, very important. Yes. From the buffalo milk produced. So the uh, the consumers in Italy, they are very much concerned about the buffalo welfare. Is it like this always? Yes. The, the milk of buffalo is transformed in mozzarella cheese more or less for the 96, 97% of total milk. So uh the mozzarella cheese uh, have a 23 24 percent of mozzarella is exported in other country europe united states in order but now have a biggest the, the bigger attention on welfare principally on the calf male in the in the, the of the buffalo so um the last 10 years more or less, the attention on the welfare is increasing very, very significantly. And uh, the consumer um, have an, uh, an, an interest, have an uh, formation to, to talk on welfare. So uh, is not uh, uh, sufficient 
put a mark, uh, a label on the on the product. But it's necessary that this mark or this labeling is uh, accredited by ministry or have a, a credibility for the farmer, for the, the consumer. So uh, have a necessity, a protocol to evaluation for the evaluation of welfare. Uh, and in particular, some points are a very, very, uh, a very interest for the consumer. The pasture, the disponibility uh, of the the, po the possibility of calf uh, to live with mother, and uh, another uh, the, the the mortality of the calf. This aspect is very um, very attentionate by the consumer. So the consumer have the possibility to pay more for this product, but want uh, a, a certification that the, the breeding system is a, a animal friendly system. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Domenico. Sorry, no I have to ask any question? Yes, okay, sir, please carry on. Just wanted, just, just wanted to add one thing. Uh, that you know many times you know these regulatory uh, you know indices are also used as trade barriers uh, and you know one, one and and then you know if you don't want product you know some other product to come into you know, your country then you know you have you know certain rules you know, which will put a barrier so that is also you know one of the areas of concern where uh, the veterinarians you know who are developing these uh, you know, indices should keep in mind uh, that, you know, ultimately it should not, uh, you know, become a trade barrier so that, you know, there is a uh, you know, free flow of the livestock as well as the products, you know, take place uh, globally. Yeah. yeah. Is uh, the, normally the, 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 in Europe, you have a, a European legislation that is a recipient for a single state, for a single uh, country but the the same standardization is for all country in europe when other country in, in part in europe have a, a particular legislation to to observe for the possibility to um to, to insert their product in uh, in our market so um have a different condition have a different system but respond at the same indication of Europe and for example in French or in German you have a system with three or four uh, stars indicating uh, the level of welfare and the level of sustainability uh, in Holland uh, is uh, represented uh, by uh, a benchmark, different benchmark for the sufficient, uh, good, and optimal level, but the 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 process is more or less the same. So, if the third country wants to in, uh, export in Europe, have a, a legislation for the sanitary aspect, but for the um, animal welfare too for the sustainability too. Uh, this is uh, regulated by uh, Europe for each country. So it's a bilateral agreement. It's not uh, um, standardized for all country. For example, Europe and India have an, a bilateral agreement. Bangladesh and Europe have a bilateral agreement. So have a different uh, uh, accord for market. But yes, uh, have a, a legislation standardized by the Europe uh, Union. Okay. Okay. Professor thank Mizar. you, Professor Mizar. Yes. Yeah. Can I share one, one thing? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Please. Okay. Thank you. So actually, the all uh, many points uh, come here. Uh, so the uh, one thing just I I like to share. Um, perhaps there are many audience here. Um, actually, the buffalo welfare in our country totally neglected. Uh, we have uh, the previous study, uh, we have found that 
they are um, the behavior of the uh, uh, staffs are growing negatives because there are some uh, pre-adjustment. Uh, there is uh, the uh, I already mentioned uh, in my uh, studies. Uh, I have done fast work on the when the annual work is in our country. We did the welfare uh, children the buffalo welfare. So at the livestock markets, we have found there are there the dehydration and metabolic exhaustion. We have found that there is um, the long distance transportation. As already uh, Professor Bumi, they mentioned that all the negative points, which is uh, really in our country also. So there are uh, metabolic depression, muscle stress, and we have found that creatine kinase. There are all the uh, uh, non esterified fatty acid, all of the higher value right, than the normal level. So this uh, we have found there is the stock handler. They are they should train up how to improve their welfares. How to so uh, I think and another one importance issue uh, is the slaughter because there is uh, the long crescent horn. About, uh, so this is the position of the head is very important so they don't casting the head so there is the welfare in the slaughterhouse and the, they uh, keep the animal as long as uh, possible we have found almost two hours they are in the lying positions then slaughter the animals so there is very stressful and there is the i think there is biochemical changes and less quality of the muscles so this, these are all of the things we have uh, already uh, done and uh, now the welfare issues about the uh, uh, buffalo in especially we know in our country they are in the uh, coastal belt area about uh, the free ranging system pastoral system so should we develop uh, some the welfare assessment protocol for the buffalo it is important for us now so we uh, changing human behavior regarding buffalo is important for our Bangladesh perspective we should improve our uh, attitude uh, to the buffalo then we can improve their welfare as well as the production please help to uh, economy for the farmers so uh, the for the as uh, we know that 1.5 million buffalo in a not not so many we have just 1.5 million buffalo in our country already dr hidma vishas he mentioned so they are in the saline area and some in the chitagong the hilly area especially the swamp type buffalo so we should develop some welfare assessment protocol and uh, some also mentioned uh, about uh, the welfare index this is the welfare protocol then we can do some uh, works uh, link with uh, dominic and dr samad sir then we can proceed uh, for this thank you very much okay thank you dominic i have another question do you have a market for buffalo meat in italy market yes buffalo meat yes 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 but it's a very very uh we have four thousand uh four four thousand hundred animals so uh the number the 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 number of animal that used for meat is very very uh cheap is very very so in our system the meat production uh, is not sustainable for the income of reader because uh, um, normally the meat of buffalo have the same value in the market of the the bovine meat but the efficient of the buffalo is lower normally in uh, 10 uh, 14 months uh, buffalo have more or less 15 52 percent of the meat production compared with co that have uh, 68 69 percent so the efficient of meat production in our system uh, is not economic sustainability so non have sustainability uh for for the for the breeder uh, compared with co but uh, we have yes and uh, uh have an increase in this market uh compared with the increase uh, with the reduction of a mortality of cow, because the male and the buffalo at the finish of a productive career uh, goes for the slaughterhouse. So uh, the consumption of uh, buffalo meat increases slowly, but increases in our country. Okay, Another problem you. is the regionality of the buffalo. So in the uh, we have not uh, a constant disponibility of meat for the for the consumer. 
so I have a difficulty to um, to have a, a fidelization of a consumer for the meat uh, and uh, of buffalo, and I have a, a particular flavor different for cow. So when the buffalo is young, this condition uh, is uh, is more tolerated by the the, the consumer. So uh, have a, a good market. Uh, the buffalo between uh, 10 and 14 months. When the buffalo is old, so I have a more difficult to uh, collocate in the market for the normal consumer. But have a, a good, uh, for example, in Europe, German, the, 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 the German state have a consumption of uh, meat of buffalo, but import from Brazil have an importation of Brazil. So the market is, of meat uh, is in a slow increase in, uh, in our country too. More for the collocation of the male, the, the calf male than the, 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 the request of market. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, so I think we are uh, almost at the end now and we see that Usually the, in the in the in the world, the most of the buffalo are located in the Indian subcontinent, mainly in the India, in Pakistan, Nepal. Also, we have also some buffaloes, and the uh, the government of Bangladesh has taken some project to increase the buffalo population. So I think we should can we should try or we can find a common uh, ground or common platform or common way to increase the buffalo welfare in this uh, subcontinent. And I think we should uh, try to find a way to communicate and to collaborate with Domenico and colleagues in Italy and other parts. So can we can work together and that will be very good for this uh, wonderful animals in this region, I think. So I think we can uh, uh, close it now today. And thank you very much, Domenico, for giving your time. You're on welcome. This weekend. It is Saturday, it is a weekend for you. You are so much busy. I know that, but no you've given us the time. And also thanks goes to Professor Abdul Samad sir. He's also busy, he works a lot because he is retired for, I think now it is almost seven years now. He is retired, but he is a still is working a lot. He's still working a lot. Also Professor Bhumi from Nepal. Thank you very much for joining sir. Thank you very much. And my friend, Professor Rashidul Alam, and so Hirona Bishas, also Dr. Razza Ali Khan from Pakistan. Thank you, everyone, for joining this program, uh, this, uh, program. and hope to see you in another uh, program next month. We have, hopefully, we'll have another program with Domenico next month. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll Thank see you. you. Thanks, Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you, okay. Thank you all. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Steve.